So at least for today, what is Voight's mindset? Let's find out. Hey, Luke, just what did you think of Nestor today? He's unbelievable. I mean, the way he can, you know, change speeds with all of his pitches and, you know, attack the zone, you know, at any point up in, down, and uh, just kind of keeping the hitters off balance all day is uh, pretty impressive. And, um, you know, that's something we really needed today. You know, we need to got to go out and give us six strong. And, you know, he finally got a, a win, which is which was huge. And I know he's been itching to get one of those. And that's a pretty tough uh, lineup to go through. And for him to do that was uh, pretty impressive with all the righties in there today. Overall, how have you felt at the plate since you've been back? Um, I'm getting there. I, you know, it's obviously the first two games of the series wasn't very good. I just feel like I've been in 0-2 counts a lot and, you know, kind of swinging at everything. So just been working a lot, you know, with our hitting coaches and just trying to get back. And, you know, I think I just got myself in the, um, bad habits when I was, you know, been fighting this knee injury and, you know, coming out of my front leg and not staying in my knee and not trusting my knee and, I just got to, you know, go out there and get out of that. And that's why I've been trying to get as much work in as possible and um, do what I can, you know, like a, what I'm capable of and what I've done, the, you know, the last three years I've been here. Do you feel any added pressure considering the circumstances? No, I mean, it's weird. Obviously, it was in a, you know, a tough spot, you know, obviously, because I've done so much for this organization. And, you know, obviously, I didn't think that was a possibility. But, you know, it's what happens when you've only played 30 games going on the deadline and, um, obviously, we've been a, you know, righty dominant lineup, so I understand it. You know, it's a business part of it, but you know, I still want to you know do everything I can for the guys. And you know, obviously, if that's pitch hitting, DHing, you know, playing first here and there, I mean, I you know, I'm capable, obviously, doing a lot, you know, in the lineup. And um, you know, I want I want to hit. I'm a good hitter, and I uh, you know, I want to you know help this team any way I can to win a championship. Do you feel like days like today remind them of what you can do? For sure, and. You know, that home run obviously was, you know, the game winning home run technically, you know, obviously with them scoring a couple in the ninth. So, you know, it's uh, I'm there. You know, I know I'm capable of doing damage all the time. And um, I know this year has been a tough ride for me, but, you know, I just got to keep grinding and, you know, do anything I can these next, you know, 40, 50 games. We'll take the next question from Randy Miller. Luke, is it difficult for you not to get angry and feel sorry for yourself and just be mad at the, what happened? I mean, you, you lead the league in, in home runs last year, and this happens. You, you don't see that a lot, and I know that, you know, Rizzo's a good player, and you, you have been hurt this year, but from your standpoint, you, you know, who knows when you're going to play if Rizzo comes back is maybe if Stanton plays the mouthfield, but is it tough not to get angry about it? Yeah, and I, you know, when it first happened, you know, it's right when I was kind of starting my, you know, playing games again, and, you know, I was very frustrated and, you know, just in a bad place mentally, but one good thing and attribute I've always had is I've been able to flush stuff and, you know, I can't obviously control, you know, the injuries I had this year and, you know, um, uh, you know, I just, I got to be there for my guys. I got to be a good teammate. It's, it's very easy to drift off and go to a bad place. And like you said, feel sorry for yourself, but I'm still, you know, showing up every day, going to the, I'm on the early bus or I get to the field, you know, one of the first guys, cause I know I want to get the work in cause Again, you never know what can happen in this game. And, um, you know, I just got to stay positive. And, um, you know, when my name's called, you know, step up and uh, do a job. Have you talked to Rizzo at all to kind of just between yourself to say, hey, we're on, we're in this together and uh, hey, it all? I, I actually really haven't got to talk to him at all because, you know, when he got here, obviously I was in Tampa still, and then I went straight on my rehab assignment. So I haven't really had a, much conversation with him. So, um, but no, and I know he's a good player. He's a good dude. You know, we played against each other when I was with the Cardinals and, you know, the Cardinals Cubs. So, um, and I know he's, he's in a, he, he, he told me that the same thing happened when they, you know, traded for someone in um, San Diego and uh, he kind of got pushed to the side too. So he feels for me, but um, at the end of the day, you know, uh, we both got to do our jobs.